sumo springs installed today you guys don't know what sumo springs are then i would suggest just go and pause in the video go google it google sumo springs and then you guys will know what i'm talking about and once you're back push that play button again and you'll see what i'm talking about here's the sumo springs they finally arrived yesterday when i was gone so here these ones are go in the front these ones go in the rear my van is a 2500 sprinter it's a 2015 but i am putting the yellow means there's for a 3500 so i want more i want to load more in the rear i want it to sag down less i want it to be stiffer in the rear so i'm sticking 3500 rated springs you know if you get the black ones for the rear they're going to be 2500 but for for my operation for what i do i'm going with the 3500 which is the yellow black will be 2500 and i'm putting the black in the front so these are rated for the 2500 in the front let's get this done i got the jack already um i don't know what other tools are needed except for like a big wider uh screwdriver or a little pry bar or i don't know exactly what but let's get under there i'm going to jack up one side jack up another side and then we'll see you know how it takes or what it takes to get this all swapped out shouldn't be too long of a process i think it's mostly going to take a long time to actually set up the camera set up the video footage put on the light over there so you guys can see it and everything else otherwise I think it's a super easy process. Front is a little trickier, a little longer, but we'll get the front done as well. It's not a big deal. Everything just needs a jack. And then uh, in the front, I think it's a 13 millimeter. That's what that looks like. That looks like a 12 or 13. You would just unbolt it, put this in, and drop your vehicle back down, and you're good to go. And then also, I got tires that came in, so I'll be installing some new tires, but that's a different video for you guys. I'll show you a sneak peek at the tires real quick. Mark, what are you doing, Mark? Mark's got a bike. eBay tires. Look at the treads on this thing. This is insane. Look. You guys see that? Really soft rubber. Really nice. It's got a lot of slots in it. Really good for all season for snow. I don't put on anything else. I just, you know, use some nice and coarse stuff like this. It's got to have a lot of slots. If it has a lot of slots, that means it's going to be good for the snow. If you got just big old, you know, lugs like this with no cutouts in them that's going to be an issue for snow this perfect for snow i've already used these tires my father's used these tires i've got a lot of friends who i recommended these tires to they have them they use them they love them never any issues your van is going to be like a tank what they're called is a lion claw at x2 make sure you get the lts light truck tires load range e you guys can see all that stuff these are just stock sprinter size 245 75 16s but yeah i've already used these tires i already know that they're good from my previous other two vans i had okay let's get on with the sumos oh here it is yeah go do that i want to see how there you go let me jump on it see before and after you know what I mean okay here we go we'll try the after so I'm looking at it and I don't think it needs to be jacked up here's a stock bump stop and this thing what you do is just get a big screwdriver jam it in this top hole right here and it should come right out oh okay you don't even need that that's it it's out right there new one new one how does it go one of these is supposed to be going in more and further other one is closer how was that one in there was one of them longer than the other so one of these slots is bigger than the next. I'm just wondering which one goes where. I'll figure that out here in a second. Let me turn the camera off. I don't even have to jack up my van, guys. Mine sits up so much higher than what this bump stop is that 
Yeah, it's... Give me that one, Daniel. I want to see the difference. Oh, that little black one? Yeah. Look at this. Once this goes in, here's the difference. How much bigger this yellow one is. It's almost half the size. Almost. It's a lot bigger. Okay, let's try to jam this thing in here and I'll figure out which way it, which way it goes what. I think it goes like this, everybody. That holds there. And this holds here. That doesn't look like it's going to come out. And then the front looks like it's good over here too. If they fall out, that's $300 worth of stuff in the road for somebody else to maybe use sometime. But I don't think it's going to fall out. It doesn't look like it. It's hard to even get, you know. Hard to get it out if you try to. I think we'll be okay. While driving, I don't think so. No, no. Plus the suspension is going to be squeezing down on this. No. I think we're good. Just like this. So this, when it compresses, this goes up. And this keeps it from going down. From your van from squatting over here. So rest on that. One side's done. Like I said, the whole camera setup is longer takes longer than to shove this thing in and that's it. All right, let's go to the other side and the rear will be done. Okay, we're on the passenger side now. And all you do, just pull right out. Yeah, see the longer, this is just a hair bit longer. So a little hair bit longer piece goes to the front of the van. So when you look at this, there's two sides, this is a little longer. Yeah, this one's just a bit longer. So you shove the longer side in first, then you put that. That's it. That's it. I just hammered it this in a little bit more, that way I get a little more of a snug. And that's it. This side was a little looser than the other side for some reason. But it's in. I mean, it's all it's all doable by hand. You don't need any special tools. You just need a flathead screwdriver and maybe a hammer. Maybe to pry this open, move this a little closer. Same thing with the rear. I pried it open a little bit just to keep the one this side. The other side is nice and snug in there. This side was a little loose, but now we're good. That's all it is for the rear sumos. Let's move on to the front. Okay. I'll show you guys. A trick over here. I just looked under here. You can see the bump stop that is right here. This rubber piece. Oh, I'm try to hold the camera and reach and show you what it is. This guy right here. This is what needs to come out. To unscrew it, it's easy. You can unscrew it, but to put that fat one in, this whole suspension needs to come down. The way to do that is put a jack right here under the subframe and just jack everything up you guys will see you're gonna keep gaining room see that Daniel come hold the camera for me please see how that space is getting bigger and bigger and bigger yep just right there keep holding that Okay, we're off the ground, and that's really enough, supposedly. See how huge this space is now, right here? It's big, so that new one should fit right in there. And the way to do it is take that 13 millimeter, I believe is what it is. 13 millimeter socket, unscrew that one real quick and it'll be done. Put the new one in, screw it back in, and that's it. Self-explanatory to me. But just for the sake of the video, I'll go on and go through with it. Okay, what helps in the front is if you turn the wheel towards you. 
one side then you could do the same thing with the other side if you turn the wheel all the way to the left you will see at least stock I've got some symboled in Mexico anyways I've got some 3500 shocks to replace all around the van too I'm gonna be doing that sometime soon before winter actually starts but yeah so you just shove a 13 millimeter right down in there where is it I thought Daniel gave it to me right here yep right there just unscrew it and you're done might have to clean my camera afterwards but here it is it's coming down really easy it's a 2015 van but then of course we don't get as much rain and you know our winters are we do have winters i wouldn't say they're really rough but you know. i don't know where my recording guy went he went to go help my son with his dirt bag and messing around well you guys see the point right now i gotta use two hands which i gotta put the camera down now gotta use two hands now to hold unscrew it the other side goes from under it and screw it back in and you're done hold with one hand unscrew with the other you guys get the simple point i believe And my nut is left in there somewhere. Okay, so here we are. You got your big old sumo. And then you got the nut and the bolt. To hold the nut in place in here, because you're going from the top, it's going to be dropping in. Little secret in case you guys don't know. You use just a little bit of grease. Whatever, just regular grease. Stick a little bit in here. Then you stick your nut right in here. That's it. Washer goes on before that. So you put it in from the bottom. If we even have enough room to do all this. This thing is huge. Okay, we're good. So here it is. Put the nut on top. Okay, I dug my washer out. Now it's time to just screw the nut on here and we're done. Takes two hands when it starts getting tight. So be prepared to use two hands. I think it's easier to use an impact. Okay, we're almost done there. I'm getting the sucker nice and tight. Okay, that's it. It's in there. New one is so much bigger than that tiny little old one. Look at the difference. This guy and that guy. I should have done a comparison of how high the tire sits up versus 
you know this guy versus that one but it's okay i believe it's gonna the van's actually gonna be sitting up a lot higher too because look double you know what i mean so when this is down so i'm gonna lower it real quick look from there inside how it's gonna compress down onto that sumo spring versus not even being there at all Boom, sitting right on top of it. Look at that. Sits right on top of it. <laughs> I can't wait to go try it out. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay, jack up this next side. You guys can see where I'm jacking. As long as the wheel comes off the ground, that's really all you need. That's it, like that. And then turn the wheel the other way. Just like that, same thing with this side. You guys saw the other side. Maybe we'll fast forward this side, I don't know. But here we go. Watch how easy this comes off. That's it. Already loosened it. It's already coming off. Not rusty or anything down there. I'm surprised. For these suspension parts. And then once you get close to the end, Start spinning, so you do use, you know, both hands. Maybe if you use a little, you know, impact drill, it's a little quicker. I just, you know, do it this way for now. They look good and my grease if it didn't go too far in should still oh it was holding now i just dropped it the nut is in here okay let's try to measure i know it's not dead center here but with the tire being all the way out what do we got without the yeah let's see 34 and three quarter yep you guys mm -hmm. see that seven eighths three quarter let's call it three quarter 34 and three quarter currently sitting without the new one we'll put the new one back on or not back on we'll put the new one on and we'll see how much higher it brings the front end up okay once again a little bit of grease on the inside holds this guy in place see it's not going to go anywhere when you're trying to screw it in washer goes on when I put this in mm. smart pants I got one of these little crazy clamp tools used to come with another tip that was magnetic but I lost that part magnetic works okay too so you put the sumo spring in and then you use this little thing to put the nut in because my fingers are way too fat so it's in now you just screw it in. Start it off by hand. That way it goes in. Keeps going until it gets tight. Now that it's tight. This one seems like a lot longer than the stock one. The 
buds are bigger and longer on here. Okay, I'm getting close. Now hold it straight and just tighten. Tighten as good as you can by hand. It's gonna get rust, it's gonna get it's got a little lock tight on there. So it's gonna hold. That's it. The socket doesn't do it anymore. So we're tight. Okay, let's measure. 34 and 3 quarters is what it was. It's actually half an inch taller. Here it is. Watch this. I was as close as possible to here. So we got 35 and a quarter. You guys see that? 35 and a quarter. Half an inch taller in the front. It's good. I like it. Now it's time to go for a test drive. I want to see how actual, how stable this thing is because supposedly it's not supposed to give you so much sway. Body roll. You know, when you're passing semis, if you guys have driven before, when you pass semis, it kind of like, you do all this all over the road. So I want to go pass a semi, see if it keeps doing that. First, I got to wash my dirty hands. But that's the video, guys. Real nice and simple. I mean, really, without if I didn't have to mess with the camera and do all the setups and look, oh, is it? Can you see from here? Can you gonna record from here and do all that? Would be done a long time ago. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to know more about sprinter stuff or more about expediting. Yeah, jump a little more. Let's see what they do. A little more. Yeah, it sits right on top of them. You know what? I had no idea. Oh, sorry. Look at that. That's the... the back doesn't even touch. So, in the back, either way, what I'm going to be doing is replacing the rear shocks into 3500 shocks. So, I'll be having 3500 shocks really soon. That's, that's my next project. Today, I'm going to go and replace still. Uh, tires and I do need new these basically so here's the thing guys I still need uh, whoever had the van before me what they did was they had the caps were not plastic they had metal caps metal caps got baked onto these when I went to go replace tires in Portland this summer these guys barely barely freaking were able to get this stuff done because you see what happened? I, I had to use pliers and cut them and, you know, do whatever to get this off. Been driving like this ever since, but it's really, you know, not a good thing. Because what if it cracks, keeps going, and then all the air is going to come out. So today I actually got to replace a couple of these. And then I also need to replace uh, a few of the tire pressure sensors. They don't work. I think two of them don't work. So I'll be doing that at the tire shop. These are getting pretty bald, but they're still good for summertime, for next summer. So I'll be keeping these. So my fronts are excellent. Here's these, because I already replaced the rears one, once already. You see that? These will be going in the rear, and those will be going in the front for next summer. But Sumo, hey, Sumo, guess what? Sumo, I represent. You see this? I definitely represent sumo look at this also I represent on the inside I represent on the inside feel free like sponsoring Eagle Express sumo because I'm ready for the sponsorship and if you want I'll go put on your decals all over the van as well if I get sponsored hey I'm okay with getting a sumo springs wrap as well oh this is what you guys were laughing about this is not a black eye. Hold on. Is that better? It's hard to see in here. Good? Yeah. My kids were laughing at me. Wife was in the window laughing as well. What are you guys laughing at? Cold has finally come. We got we were frosty as well, so it's alright. What are you doing? 
That's the next video. You're already loading them up. What are you doing? I do feel the difference in these springs already. It's a lot better in the front. Um, in the rear, they don't really touch until you start putting weight on it. But as far as front goes, there's a lot less sway. I'm talking about like, I don't know. To me, it seems like probably 50% less sway, minimum of 50%. And when these cars drive by, usually you would feel it. Right now, you just don't feel anything. I want to test it like passing a semi or a semi passing me. Usually if you pass a semi on these big and tall vans, you know, you feel, you feel a little bit of like, you know, play and stuff. I want to test that. But I just tried to take some sharp corners did really well with that. Um, I want to go over some couple, couple big bumps if I can, and see how it does on the big bumps. Right. It's a lot less roll. Eh, I don't like that road. We'll see. I'll give you guys a little more of a, you know, on some more videos about it. As we go on, I'll tell you as I drive. You know, give you a full review of them. Let you guys know what I think about them. But so far, I like it. These are nice. It's like. So we're on a test drive, trying to test this out. Corners, it goes into the corners nice and easy, like I'm talking about, really good. Feel like you're in a race car compared to what it was before. It's kind of like comparing, a, you know, an old 80s Cadillac compared to a race car. Let's see, let's go to this corner, nice and tight. It just goes, you know what I mean? It's not of that going like this like it used to be. It used to be going like this. Not no more, guys. This is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. That's the best 600 bucks I've spent. Anyways, if you want them just for the front, they're $300 for the front. If you want them just for the rear, the cost is $300 for the rear, so $600 bucks all together. Wood tax is what it was. Came out like six, $600 and a little bit of change. Bought them on Amazon, guys. I recommend it. Go ahead and... Oh, kitty. Oh, he almost made He almost made it under the rear tires, that cat. What an idiot. So far, I like them. So far, so good. Let's go into this parking lot. And let's come out of the other side and see... Here's a big dip in the road right here. We're gonna take this. See what kind of sway we get. Well, oh, that's my hitch. That's coming out. That thing is coming. <laughs> Even the boys think it's funny. That hitch has got to go. Yeah, a lot less sway. I'm talking about like huge difference. You're gonna know night and day. I'm I'm serious, night and day difference. Night and day. Take one more entrance inside the Safeway parking lot. Got to pick something up here. She's like, oh my God, he's coming in hot. <laughs> That's it. You know, it's fast. It's easy. It's there's a lot less sway. You're not bumping around like this. Who did this? Look at this. It was under some truck, I saw it, the other day. They put these pallets under some truck. Weird. They just left it there. Maybe they were trying to steal their tires. Oh, yeah, could be, huh? Okay, well, you guys saw the, you guys saw the driving as well. I'll do a maybe 30 day or like, you know, three month review later on and show you guys the difference. You know, what I think about it, if it was worth it, if it's not show you guys the difference with you know loading you know something heavy in there and see how they hold up i'm also going to replace like i said the shocks are going to be replaced as well with 3500 shocks they've been laying around since last winter i bought shocks 3500 shocks for what did i spend 135 bucks or 185 under 200 dollars. i paid for all four barely used shocks found some on facebook marketplace so i'll be replacing those right before winter time comes catch you guys later